Kip69 here for Overclock.net Computex 2013 coverage. I am here looking at, um, actually what am I looking at? What company is this? Okay, so this is uh, American Megatrends. Uh, we're a uh, BIOS company that does uh, BIOS for, uh, systems. And this is our new product line. This is called uh, DUOS, DUOS. So basically, this is a uh, Windows 8 platform. There's a lot of Windows 8 platforms out there, uh, tablets or desktop or notebooks. Uh, Windows 8 features a really nice Metro UI. And a lot of the users really like the Metro UI interface. But for, as we all know, Windows 8, for them, the mobile devices, they offer a limited range. Well, not, not limited, they have enough, but not quite extensive in application field is Android. So what we're offering is a uh, an value add-on to the Windows 8 platform. So with DOS, it basically it's an application that runs on Windows. It virtualizes a Android system platform for you to use Android applications. So as you see, you can click on this. And within one second, it transfers into the Android OS. And the UI is all generic Android. So the users who use Android platforms, uh, usually that use the Android platform, they will have no problem using this user interface as well. And for us, all the applications you can download from uh, Market or like Google Play, and they should work 100% perfectly with this platform as well. We have our own AMI ARM emulator. So uh, you won't have to worry about, oh, I downloaded an Android application but it runs on ARM, is it okay to run on x86? Don't worry about that, we have our own ARM emulator. So whatever uh, applications that you want to run, it will run good with it as well. So for example, we can have, um, okay, let's do uh, a drag racing. <laughs> I hope this runs okay. <laughs> okay. So basically, see, this is an Android uh, game, and we're running this. It, and it seems very quick. Is it? How how does the uh, the CPU handle running the, the, the virtual OS on this? Uh, it should be no problem. It should be no problem. It's uh, got enough power to run in. It's, it's got enough power to run on the uh, the machines. So is it pretty much runs like a normal Android. <laughs> Because what we're doing is we're actually utilizing all the uh, Windows drivers. We're not making any of the Android drivers on this. So it's all uh, the platform based. You don't have to worry, oh, well, I lost the game, but you don't have to worry about it consuming too much resources. Yeah. And also what we're working on right now, because right now this one, it is a virtualized system. What we're doing right now is we're also, uh, we're developing a Android-based uh, Windows and Android DOS, so which will be from the hard, uh, hard drive itself will run uh, Android instead of a virtualized one. So that's something that's coming to the market soon. Okay. And also a neat thing about DOS is uh, you see all these applications, they are actually Android applications. So when you download an Android application into the Android UI, you can actually put it onto the Windows Metro UI. So the user doesn't have to switch back and forth. They can just go into Android from here. Yes. That's nice. It's almost like you have everything you need on both. You don't have to yeah. switch back. That is yeah. very nice. Yes. So you can play Angry Birds on your Windows system. Of course. System. Yes, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> that, I don't know if that's a good thing. No, maybe not. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much. Okay, no problem. For uh, Kip69 at Computex 2013. Overclock.net.